in this lesson, you are going to be learning about weathering. So by the end of the lesson, you should be able to explain and give examples of how weathering changes the Earth's surface. So do you wonder when you drive by a mountainside and you see large rocks, small rocks, snow, and maybe even some ice, how did the small rocks get there? Well, the Earth's surface is created by layers of rock and they are constantly changing. This process is called weathering and there are many ways rocks can get broken down into smaller pieces. And some ways weathering can occur is by freezing, thawing, plants growing, water, wind, pressure, and gravity. And an important note is that it happens over a long period of time. Rock size and shape can change with rain and wind over hundreds, thousands, or millions of years. And freezing is another way that weathering occurs. So water from the rain can enter small spaces in rocks and freeze in the cold weather. And when water freezes, it expands and forces the rock to crack. Heat is another way weathering occurs. In the hot deserts, the rocks are baked by the sun and the heat can cause the rock to expand just like the water expands and force it to crack. Over time, these cracks can break apart from the, the rock. Plants also play a big part in weathering. Plants grow and so do their roots underground. These roots can grow through small cracks in rocks and force the rock to crack. Wind is another way that weather or breakdown of rocks. Over a long period of time, winds can carry sand and break down rocks. This works, works much like sandpaper on wood. Water, anytime it is close to rocks and sediments over time, will cause the rocks to break down. There's even acid in rainwater. Rainwater um, contains very small amounts of acid and these can break down the rocks minerals as well. Heavy rain is anytime water is close to rocks and sediments, it will cause it to break down over time. And so think about these questions with your partners. What is weathering? Give an example. Why do mountainsides have small and large rocks? How can wind weather a rock? 